Alright everybody, welcome back for another video. Today, we're going to be painting the brake calipers on the G's. This is going to be the best, easiest, fastest way to do it. Stay tuned, let me show you what you need. Alright, so this is what we're going to need. We're going to need a steel wool to uh, scrub the calipers, and we're going to use some isopropyl alcohol along with brake cleaner. And then we're going to need these trash bags in order to mask. Obviously, you're going to want your paint. Hopefully, just one can works, so it's 11 ounces. We got some BHT caliper paint, some pretty good stuff along with their clear coat in order to protect it and then we have a microfiber and then if you have extra like Brembo stickers or something you want to stick on make sure you have those prepared and that should be it for what we need. Okay, so now that we got the wheels off, the most important thing is going to be cleaning these and masking them. So if we look closely here, that if we look closely, these brake calipers are pretty dirty. So we got some chipping paint here and along the sides. So what we're going to want to do is take some uh, sand sandpaper and we're going to clean that up a little bit. And then we're going to move on to cleaning these brake calipers. So let's go get our brake clean. So first we're going to clean off the brake calipers with hitting it with some brake clean or any type of brake or parts cleaner. And then uh, hitting that with steel wool. And then after that, drying the rest of the off with uh, some type of paper towel or shop towel. So next step, after you get your calipers to the level you're satisfied with, we're going to take our isopropyl alcohol here and we're going to take a rag and we're going to wipe everything off with that and then we'll be ready to paint. Now guys, it's no secret when you're doing uh, your preparation here, the better job that you're going to do, the longer it's going to last. Now, i am be honest, I plan on selling this car in like a year and a half, so my job might be, not be the best, but just remember if you plan on wanting it to last for a really long time, just put in your time in the preparation and it'll pay off. Alright guys, so once you finish with the alcohol and you're done cleaning your brake calipers, I'm going to show you how to use a garbage bag for masking and how to split that real quick. You can just use cheap black ones and then find the seam here and just rip straight down the seam. So now we're going to throw our bag on like this and remember we have one side cut. Kind of get it mocked up. Take your razor here, make about a two to three inch hole, depending on what kind of brakes you're using. And you can always make it bigger if it's not big enough. Okay, so now I got my hole. Now I'm gonna start stretching it around my brake caliper. And this stretch is what's gonna give us that tight fit that we're looking for. All right, so we haven't quite masked the wheel wells yet, but right now I'm using some blue uh, painter's tape here and masking off anything I don't want paint on. So it's kind of a good idea to keep in mind that everything you're going to be spraying here is going to have like red or whatever color you choose to put on it. So make sure we mask everything off. I'm also going to mask off these bleeder caps, uh, but just something to keep in mind. So now we have our caliper masked to how we like it and it's clean. So now we're going to be ready for priming, but first we need to outline all of this to the garbage bag because we really do not want to get any overspray on this paint because that that's not going to come out okay, I'm pretty satisfied with how this is masked off so uh, everything is protected in the fender well and all the suspension components and everything like that so next we're going to move on to priming so now we're taking our primer you can use anything that's basically a high heat should work fine and we're gonna do one light coat and then one thicker coat. So after two coats, this is what we got. Looks pretty awesome. So now we're gonna use our VHT caliper paint and you can use any caliper paint you want. We're gonna do one dusting and then we're gonna do three to four like full coats, full wet coats. All right, everybody, we're finishing the calipers right now. They look really, really nice. We still have to do clear coat, keep in mind, but just check out this progress here. 
looking really shiny really like that so the next step is if you have any stickers this is when we're going to put those on and make sure they're high temperature stickers next up we're going to use this vht uh, clear coat here to put on our calipers this will protect the stickers and protect everything else i'm going to move two coats one a little lighter and one a little heavier All right, everybody, it's the next day. We finished it up. I'm um, sorry it started getting dark and I was not about that. But these look awesome. I would totally recommend the VHT caliper paint. Uh, these came out really awesome. So uh, like, subscribe, comment. That would really help us out. And uh, hopefully yours turned out just as well. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Cover car, who dis? Wow. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah, gotcha. Ow, oh, shucks. <laughs> you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about.